Today we're flying from Manila to Cebu with Air Asia. There was a delay, but we got on the plane the adventurous way, walking on the ground and up the stairs. Oh yeah, private jet feels. Even though it was a short walk outside, boarding passengers were offered an umbrella. We are looking for aisle 15, decent leg room for a person my height. It's 12.45 p.m. We have a one hour delay. What wonders lie in these pages? What what? Hong Suk Chan! He's a Korean actor and restaurateur who now features a sweet and spicy chicken dish on Air Asia. Other options include chicken rice, nasi lemak, roasted chicken with black pepper sauce, salmon onigiri, chicken teriyaki, pansik canton, Caesar salad, beef and cheese quesadilla, beef burrito, and tuna melt. The dishes are fairly international. As for dessert, we've got cookies, salted caramel pudding, and tiramisu. Hello, noodles! Winter melon milk tea with pearls? Mmm, beer and wine. Sounds like fun, but it'll be dehydrating for flying, so I'll have to pass. However, the lemon ginger and pandan tea sound promising. And now I'm craving halo halo. One of the best digital detox things to do on a plane is get ideas for your next trip. Oh, this temple cuisine looks so good. The flight from Manila to Cebu is about an hour long. What beautiful clouds! Even as an adult, I sometimes fantasize they could be bounced on like trampolines. Food is on the way! Because it's a short ride, the flight attendants are serving soon after takeoff. I pre-ordered one meal online, but due to a promo I was not aware of, somehow we got two meals. This is like the second time this happened to me. Revealing the chicken teriyaki. Mamio also got chicken teriyaki. What pam? Glossy like a freshly painted set of nails. Comes with a slice of carrot, a whole shiitake mushroom, egg, and oh, what a cute little piece of herb. The black pepper fried rice contains broccoli, peas, green beans, soy sauce, and two thin slices of red bell pepper. All right, here's the lineup. We begin with the shiitake mushroom. Ow. It's a healthy start. Now for the carrot. There is a slight crunch. And now for the main event, chicken teriyaki. So how is it? A happy amount of salt, though it might be saltier if we eat it on land. After all, your taste buds alter in higher altitude. Now on to the egg. Overall, the chicken teriyaki meal is mild. I'm trying to really feel the flavor, but it is gentle. Which isn't necessarily a good or bad thing. It just depends on what you personally like. Mamio munches off a corner. Gotta get some of that passionately red bell pepper. One and a two. What is this? A single corn kernel awaits. Just one. And a pea. Dig and you'll discover a couple more peas. The interior is moist in comparison to the top layer of fried rice. The broccoli bits were only on the surface, not inside the rice. In terms of flavor, the chicken teriyaki wins, in my opinion. Did you like it? Yeah, I like fried rice. It's not really hungry. For me, it's not fried. Okay. It is flavorful. And of course I have food stuck in my teeth again. Tell me, what's new? And soon we see land. Hello Cebu! It's our first time visiting this island. Who knows what's in store? Definitely some beaches. Upon landing, Mother Nature starts to paint the ground with polka dots. Stay tuned for next week's exploration of Cebu. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. To relax at night, listen to ASMR Bedtime with Miss Mina. We read, crunch, crinkle, and more. In the sunset's cold. Toodles, my noodles.